then will be evaluated and of course 1 2 3 4 5 6 is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 so row 1 will be true then oracle will jump to jump, jump to row 2 then day phone number will be substituted by 1 2 3 4 4 4 and evening number will be substituted by 1 2 3 4 3 3 and then the condition will be evaluated right so when we, ha we have an expression like this where one column is equal to another column then of course for each row the values of column keeps on changing okay so keep that in mind always think in terms of that or uh, oracle will scan the whole table from top to bottom and uh, we'll see which row uh, you know fulfills uh, the criteria okay which row will result in true only those rows will be displayed now in advanced topics you will learn that oracle d doesn't have to really do a full table scan it will come uh, like when we are talking about performance tuning but think always in terms of full table scan okay all right so bottom line is that expression could be a column name could be a constant number could be a text literal okay in future tutorial we will expand uh, expressions and make we'll make them complicated but these are the basic components of a, of an expression and comparison operator could be an equal to sign could be greater than or less than or could be uh, you know both less than equal to and greater than equal to okay uh, so there are more uh, to comparison operator than just these uh, examples okay and of course that's what the step-by-step -step learning approach is first you learn the basics and then you make things complicated we will be learning lots of comparison operators like between in not in and like clauses and and, and etc etc okay so that's pretty much it uh, before we finish off this tutorial I'll just want to uh, do a last example okay can you tell me what would happen if I do this this actually this is a good example this will uh, again this will make you realize how Oracle works if you apply the same logic that I've told you earlier that I've explained you earlier then you would know the answer to this question what if I run this SQL select star from contact where 1 is equal to 1 okay here expression like on both sides expression is, is constant uh, number separated by an operator equal to sign right what will happen like Oracle will do a full table scan for row 1 what would be the result for this condition is 1 is equal to 1 would row 1 qualify like 1 is equal to 1 is true right so it will be true for each row there is not, no column name involved here usually column name is involved either would say where ID is equal to 1 so that Oracle can substitute uh, the ID value from that row into the expression because uh, but now there is nothing for Oracle to substitute we are saying where 1 is equal to 1 so row 1 would result in true row 2 would result in true row 3 would result in, in true so all the rows would qualify and we would basically have all the rows displayed in our result now what would happen if I do 1 is equal to 2 you know so 1 is equal to 2 this condition will result in false for all these rows because first of all there's nothing to substitute right we are not using any column name so all these rows will result in false and we have no column selected oh again I highlighted that thing see no data found now like this technique is used sometime when people are copying table okay you can basically copy table again this is a topic for advanced tutorial that I'll be creating soon but uh, just uh, food for thought so we can basically copy table contact as table contact 2 okay so create table contact 2 as select everything from contact where 1 is equal to 2 now a table would be created but it would be empty so if you want to copy only the table structure you use this where 1 is equal to 2 then no row would qualify for this condition only table structure is copied but if you remove this condition then table will be copied with the along with the data so that was kind of a s advanced topic I if you don't understand that that's fine because I will gradually uh, you know teach you uh, the, con the create table statement and uh, all these advanced topics in coming tutorials okay so I see you in next tutorial